find ways to cheat the system mm-hmm. and have been banned from mm. casinos yeah mm. Mm. guys like religion is there a correlation between gambling and poverty yes yes i will say that <laughs> not to be controversial but i also believe there is a yes there is a there is a link between <laughs> religion and poverty that's why i said yes. just like religion yeah, yeah. Uh, for me personally i think if you go to a place and there's an incre- there's a prevalence of uh, gambling centers and churches the more economically deprived that area the bars. is yes. yes and bars exactly so it's uh, personally it's either a way to numb yourself so that's the booze and the drugs religion like to to give you hope and 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 to nini like gambling yes gambling they're both hope. I, i feel like gambling is more of the economic hope religion is yeah, more exactly. of like like Spiritual yeah yeah hope. like explaining why you are poor <laughs> and, and 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 someone is there to look out for you like this 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 philosopher calls it the big other so you have this person who will who will get at all your problems and will save you one day one time it not be now it not be tomorrow but one day this chap somewhere will come and you know pick you up yeah so uh, like i was saying before we started the podcast mm-hmm. if you've noticed the places that chinese have gone to reside in mm-hmm. have an influx of casinos mm-hmm. and no dogs mm-hmm. i just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so what is it that makes a culture gamble interesting i think from that report you can just tell that um a lot of african youth they don't have anything else to do with their time to like provide for themselves have yeah. economic economic opportunities mm-hmm. so that's why they're resorting to this rich quick get get rich quick. Mm. yeah, yeah so, an yeah. idle mind will just mm. put you in a bad place so you think the chinese are idle no yeah that's no. What, that's something like for the chinese no, but it's, i believe for the chinese they just have uh, extra cash to spend yep no but, but for me if you look at it like if you go to china in it's macau, macau yeah? yeah yeah gambling is very big there but it's if you so look at the, the chinese culturally they are very structured and Seven very and mini- stingy yeah, yeah exactly so so as in there's like well, there's like a dissonance yeah. yeah there's like a dissonance yeah. to it so it, it doesn't really make and, sense and they're really in their religion they believe a lot in giving out mm. i've read studies on how hey. the chinese the buddhist i swear Smiling buddhist. Buddhist. Yeah, yeah but uh, i swear no uh, that's what i've read um the bits that i've read you see how they give us their stir <laughs> okay. oh, yeah <laughs> In the Buddhism there's a lot of giving so I'm not sure. But in anyway, the way let's let's go to the next point. The third one it says chen- changing expectations regarding winning. In a clever study racetrack bettors were asked to estimate the odds that their favored horse would win but both before and after betting on the horse. After placing their bets gamblers tend to believe that their horse had a greater chance of winning before the bet. The increased commitment caused them to be more hopeful. So they participated more in making sure that their horse would win like maybe they'd feed the horse better stuff or um, stuff like that so no <laughs> yeah but you make your own it's, luck it's more about uh you just wanting to see what is good for you so you just want to believe everything will turn out good it's like you. reinforcing your, your own world <laughs> yeah you just yeah. want yeah what's good for yeah. you you don't want to see that which would think <laughs> yeah. yeah it's true yeah but should you always think you should win Should yes, I think I so. Yeah. I think so. You, you need to always believe the best for yourself. You need to always you have that energy all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My theory as I go through life is what are the options we have but hope? Because I mean, what else do you have? True. For me I prefer like a balanced approach. <laughs> in, 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 yeah. in the sense of in the sense of like what he said you make your own luck. You have to make sure things actually you know will turn out in your favor. So either having systems in place or doing what needs to be done so that you succeed but then also having a modicum of like a positive mindset it doesn't help it helps you. it goes a good way it goes it goes a long way yeah so a bit of both yeah then the next one is the bandwagon effect mm-hmm. when lottery jackpots reach record levels and garner a great deal of media attention there's a frenzy of ticket buying mm-hmm. as people decide that they don't want to be left out of the process At these times even people who have never before played the lottery will jump on in the bandwagon and purchase some tickets. Well, that, that's very true. Like um 
the time I almost did it was because I saw this guy had won like yeah. uh, what was it? Square pass. 220 million. Yeah, that one. Where is he? Let me shout him out. Where is he? Who knows? He's living his best life. No, I think, <laughs> no, I think that time. Like, his, money, his money finished. Really? So yeah. the more, the more these finished. companies and the media sells the dream, uh-huh. the, the more likely people are to bet. Hmm. And I think if you don't grow up mm-hmm. with having that kind of money, mm-hmm. when you get it, you don't know how to use it. Yeah. So as quickly as it comes, mm-hmm. it leaves equally as fast. But I also think it's, it's like you've raised the question, like what happens to guys who, who win the lottery? How do, why do they, they lose will, money? They always go broke in yeah, like 10 but, years. Like, yeah. But then I also think it's not, it's not a matter of, okay, if, if you've it's, grown up it's a lot exposed of to that cash, you'll handle it better. But I also think it's more of, it's more of mindset and exposure because yeah. there's some guys who, who haven't necessarily grown up with like 500 million shillings I'm with that level of wealth around them. But if they're exposed to that cash because maybe of their life experiences of, or maybe where they work or something like that or how informed they are, they'll be able to better place to handle that money either out of their own knowledge or they'd know where to start in terms of looking for people who help them. Like preserve that cash amount but, but it's also the environment you're in and mm-hmm. black tax and mm-hmm. you know like mm-hmm. you become like provider of your whole family and yeah. everyone needs this oh let me see this like give mm-hmm. me this loan and whatnot True. and then you end up with wait where did my money go guys I always wonder uh-huh. see Kocho Kocho sends me messages all the time <laughs> that I'm going to be a millionaire yeah, yeah. but why when this thing when people win you never are the people who don't people who don't speak English or the, yeah. like, <laughs> why yeah. I don't understand there's no one who's won who's like thank you guys I actually <laughs> won this prize but 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 I think it's because it's more because they have your data because to me what uh-huh. I find it funny is that uh-huh. there may be a competition that awards you for the more you spend the more you mm-hmm. stand a chance of winning mm-hmm. and when you go to patterns like uh school teachers or mm-hmm. principals politicians mm-hmm. they tend to spend more mm-hmm. per day so they have mm-hmm. more interest per day mm-hmm. why is it that it's always a poor person exactly. who was never spending that is always winning exactly. why is it that they actually needed the money at that time mm-hmm. so i believe it's more of safari come of your data they see your spending patterns they know ah this guy does not need this money whereas this woman actually uh, needs not it not even so. just safari come all but the it's even the ones who win the pickup yeah you can never see someone bougie showing exactly. up like yo what's up guys <laughs> exactly personally personally Peace, i think you, mic yeah. drop <laughs> <laughs> personally i think it's because uh, the poor guys are representative of a larger chunk of, of the or population. Or it's an image they want to sell yeah. it to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think so. It's more of coaching also. I believe guys are coached. Mm. Really? Yeah, you just coach yeah. someone who has won, say this and this and this uh-huh. to be In more this accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and you yeah. guys, by the do you guys think that uh, Bitcoin is like a gambling? Do you guys think yeah. there are gamblers in Bitcoin? Or people who've I invested in like if everything involved in stock markets or whatever. It's gambling. It's a gamble. Gamble. Yeah. For me, I think it's gambling if you're a crypto trader. Like if you're trading based on the normal fluctuations, like a day trader, like you said, for the stock talks are forex. Forex. Yeah. yeah. It's basically gambling. But if if you're like a new form of if, gambling. If, 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 if you're like if you're no like budget gambling. A long term, let me call it. I don't want to investor. say investor. <laughs> <laughs> call it investor. I'm a, I'm a, if, if, betting people call it an uh, investor. If, yeah. if you're someone who, who who's who's buying Bitcoin with a with a long term view, mm-hmm. because always think the guys who inv- who buy Bitcoin because of the the do they call it? It it's it's almost anarchic in a, in a in a way because it's 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 an alternative to the existing. Uh, status quo in terms of the systems in place. So the guys who really believe in that and bought into it early, 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 early on. They're not, they didn't expect to be millionaires, but now they're millionaires. And then there are guys who, who, who are like hedging their bets because they want like a diverse nini, uh, assets of uh, nini, assets in their portfolio. Mm. So they'll just make sure they have a chunk of crypto somewhere. So regardless of what. So I think people get into it for different reasons. I, yeah. I saw a tweet the other day that um, if you have to ask whether you should invest in Bitcoin or not, then it's you not should. It. You. Yeah, it's true, yeah. true, yeah. true, true. So actually, in the last point, it's on gamb- gam- gambling systems and superstitions. Mm-hmm. So gambling <laughs> is, by its very definition, a random event. Yet many gamblers firmly believe that they can devise a system to win at gambling. So this includes trying to predict patterns in mm-hmm. random numbers. 
I'm trying to select hot slot machines and avoid cold ones. <laughs> eh, okay. <laughs> Or performing some ritualistic behavior in order to keep getting wins. Mm. Like <laughs> this is But funny. I believe, yeah, because sometimes you feel yeah. like people have their lucky things like mm-hmm. these are my Kasok. lucky shoes, these are my lucky yeah. t-shirt. Wow. So when I have these on wow. and go to bed, I'll actually win. So that's it with every addiction, I would say there's there's a point where you tell yourself, okay, um this hasn't been going the way it's supposed to but i have the solution for it or i have like i have a way of stopping it or just this one time or you know like anything that's addictive will get you thinking there's a I'm way sure or a solution to win at whatever you're doing yeah i also think that betting companies are really smart because they use sof- sophisticated technology in itself like data science you know to actually predict the odds and stuff like and then a human being is using pen and paper to predict uh, the house the, always wins yeah yeah the house can never lose just know exactly. that but I-